It's quite simple. In using this analogy, of the open hand and the clenched fist. One represents God and the other represents man. And man is looking towards God or trying to find God but will never find God until man opens. Because God is all embracing and Yes, God loves you, but you aren't really feeling God's love. You just think in your head and you believe that God loves you until you won't feel. But then, but then, but then you keep contracting. You keep clenching the body and the mind, and that is sin, separation from God. But of course, there's no separation from God when you don't do. There you are. This is you, but there's no you when you're like that. Because what's in the hand? Nothing. An open hand is nothing. An open hand embraces and that's why we are actually God. That's an illusion. It's called waking up. Wake up to your true self. Stop contracting in the head and in the body. No contraction means no identification. No contraction means there's no you and me is only God. As long as you're like this, you're in competition. See? Two people. Where's God now? Where's happiness? Because God is happiness, not just love. Love and happiness are synonymous. I have realized God, so I live not constantly like this, because I still do that, but I feel what I do and then I immediately turn to God again. Jesus said, love God first. And also Jesus said, I am the way to God. So you have to love Jesus. And then as you love Jesus, you merge with God. And God is basically a disposition. It's a lovely feeling of love, bliss and happiness and joy and delight and intimacy. And already in relationships, so you're not struggling to find love anymore amongst your friends and family and things of the world. Because you're already there, you're already in love and then you... Are God. Not just standing with God, but you are God. God is a state, a disposition, love bliss disposition of already happiness, already. So then you no need to seek. All you need to do is stop clenching, stop contracting, and open up and be one. With the all encompassing all-powerful consciousness that we are with a capital C. Happiness which is unmade, unborn, will never die. But when you're like this, it feels you're lonely, it feels that you're alone, you feel angry at times, irritable at times, you feel fearful and doubtful. Is there a God, etc., etc.? Because you are clenching. You're doing that. Love Jesus or any other God man, because there are many different God men. Christians don't like to hear that, but there are. And God women. People who live in the state 
of God, of the God state all the time. So that's my message that to, to be happy, you've got to stop doing unhappiness. It's like pinching yourself. You see, I'm pinching myself and I'm feeling it's painful and awful. And then the more pain you feel, then you go to the doctor and say, Doctor, doctor, I'm in pain. Give me some medicine, please. He says, because he can see. Doctor is the guard at that moment. But stop pinching yourself and your pain will go away. It's as simple as that. And for me, my guru, my teacher, was Adidas Samraj. And... Here's a lovely picture of him, beautiful face. So find your God, find your loved one. Because once you are in love, all the time, keep returning to your loved one. Throughout every day, keep returning. So if my hand, open hand represents my loved one, I keep returning. Keep returning. Notice you do this and you stay like that, looking for other ways of releasing you. This is awful because you're always emotionally blackmailing other people to help you release that. And you become addicted to various patterns in life. And those patterns will inevitably fail you. And the great failure is death. But the Jesuses, they never die. So love by, and then you're open out, and then you're no longer living like a clenched fist, which is man made. Become God made, be lived by God. And that's the second birth, as it says in the Bible. The first birth stuff is this nonsense, and the second birth is awakening from that nonsense. And you realise all of that was a dream. So this is at the root of all your doubts, of all your anxieties, of all your concerns, of all your so-called problems, of all your dilemmas, of all your fears, and of seeking and concern. So that's at the root. So when that's not there, because that is painful, it's unhappy. And the more you clench, the more painful it becomes. Ow! And then you could just be happy. What a wonderful message that is I'm giving you. Listen to it, and if you want to know more about it, Come to me and I'll help you as much as I can. It's a practice I've been practicing all my life, really. And quite a few people are practicing that. They're not realizing it. Those who love God more than anything else. God is this disposition, remember. It's a disposition. It's not a someone out there with a white beard Father Christmas trying to we're expecting a person to um, answer your desires and wishes no you've got to stop doing this just open out and you'll blossom and then look at that I love that gesture Om Shanti